Hello, my name is Rachel. I love clothes and I love getting things in the mail. So I once again have another Shein order <laughs> to share with all of you. I just got this one in today. It's mostly accessories, uh, but there are a few clothing like items in here. Um, <laughs> I've gone a little crazy with the Shein Halloween releases. I have two more orders coming. <laughs> Uh, each order has been about roughly $60, so each order isn't necessarily a lot, but they're beginning to add up, so I really need to dial it back. But there's... <sighs> they keep doing this thing where I place my order, but one of the things I want is currently out of stock in my size, and then right after I place the order and it's shipped, that item I want comes back in my size, and I'm like, great, now i got to do a new order. And then when I'm doing the orders, of course, I've got to order enough to get the free shipping. <laughs> And this is how they keep getting me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> enough about my <laughs> consumerism problems. <laughs> Let's open this up and see what I got this time. <laughs> now this first thing is actually one of the clothing-like pieces. And this is in a extra, oh, the size one extra large. <laughs> it comes with an eye patch. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> ah, gosh. But it is this long, sheer gown with these awesome sleeves. And it's pretty long. <laughs> now, the reason that I, I got this is actually, I was thinking swimsuit cover-up. I'm already planning ahead for my next Gothic cruise, which, you know, isn't until next September because I just got off of it a few weeks ago. <laughs> But I'm already planning ahead, and I thought this would just be a super cute swimsuit cover-up uh, for, you know, keeping the aesthetic going while I'm in my swimsuit. <laughs> but, and of course, as usual, I will be trying everything on for you at the end of the video. That's item number one. And then next is just this pair of fishnet tights. And I'm probably not going to be doing try-ons with the tights. They're, they're fishnet tights, you know. <laughs> You'll see them in some future outfit of the day or something like that, I'm sure. And of course, I don't remember prices, so I'll be putting somewhere up on the screen the screenshots that have the prices on them. And my next item is actually this little shrug. And this is also in the 1X. And it's just a little shrug. So that's cute. And this was like major clearance. I think it was only like $5, which is why I just couldn't resist. And you guys know how much I love my little shrugs. And then this is some jewelry making stuff because they, they do have craft stuff as well. And these are just some charms. One out of here. But in the different colors, but they're like faux skull safety pins. And I did get two things of these. It's two different colorways. Like this one is the bright gold, silver, and bronze, and then the other one is, if I can find it, different colors. I have to wait till I get there because I've got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> and then next, these are just little sleeves with um, cuffs. You guys know how much I love these things too. I love to add these to my outfits, and this just covers the forearm. You know, kind of like a fingerless glove, but with a little ruffled over the hand sort of thing. So I just thought those were cute, and these are only a few dollars, and I just like to add these things to outfits like I'm wearing now. And next up, we do have another mask. <laughs> I've been going a little crazy with the, the uh, masks from Shein because they have such cute designs, but I just really loved the print on this one, and I just thought that was so cute. It is lined in white. I'm not going to try it on right now because I am wearing a transferable lipstick, but you get the idea. But they, they even have a makeup bag in the same fabric, which I did not buy because I don't need any more makeup bags. But I just think this is the cutest print. This is a luggage tag. <laughs> I actually, I have just a plain purple luggage tag on my luggage. But again, you know, just got home from the cruise and thinking about traveling some more. And then I saw that they had this awesome luggage tag. So you can put your, ah, your information there. But how cute is that? I have just like a plain purple bag, which is the, the bag that I take most, and I think this will be really cute on it. So again, something that was just a couple of dollars, but very practical. And here's the other set of those 
safety pin skulls in the different color way. This one has copper instead of gunmetal. And it has more of an antiqued gold as opposed to the brighter gold. But yeah, just charms because, you know, jewelry making. <laughs> and then I got some more stickers. Ugh, me and the stickers. I just, I've been collecting stickers. I've just been piling them up in a bowl. <laughs> but these were super cute, like bats. And Halloween stickers. Yeah, I'm not going to show all of them to you, but you get the idea of bats and other Halloween motifs. Love stickers. Don't know why. I don't put them on anything. Whenever I, like, actually use a sticker, I feel like I'm wasting it. <laughs> but I keep collecting them. <laughs> and then this is a set of chopsticks. These are metal chopsticks. I believe there's five pair? Six pair. Six pair of steel chopsticks and I just thought they were so pretty they just have that little print on them and then and they are super light like I expected them to feel a little bit heavier but they are super light so hopefully I eat a lot of ramen I've been ordering a lot of ramen takeout and I occasionally get sushi too and I just like using chopsticks but I hate those little disposable wooden ones they always send so I invested in some chopsticks. I do have a, a pair of wooden chopsticks somewhere, but it's just the one pair and half the time I can't find it, <laughs> find them. So I thought, oh, I'll buy a set of six. And again, this wasn't expensive. It was just a few dollars. So I thought it was well worth it. Chopsticks. <laughs> and then this, get this out of here, is a cute little, it's got bats on, on a chain. And I could have easily made one of these, but again, it was only a couple of dollars, so it just seemed easier to just buy it. <laughs> but this is actually, it can either be for glasses, because it does come with the little things for your glasses, or for your mask, and that's what I actually purchased it for. So that when you take your mask off, it'll be dangling right in front of you and easy to find to put right back on. Like, <laughs> when I went out the other night, on my way home, I had called a lift, and the driver wouldn't come down the road that I was on and pick me up directly in front of the club because he said the road was too busy, although the road really didn't seem that busy, but I know that there were some barricades, so some of the roads were cut off, so maybe it was just too difficult for him to get down the road. So it took me forever to find him. I was trying to talk to him on the phone. I, I the, the, the street was loud because it was the clubs there with loud music, and... and um, I, I just couldn't hear him very well and, and I finally found him but when I got in the car I had um, I couldn't find my mask and I was freaking out I was like oh my god where's my mask and I finally found my mask it had been hanging from my ear <laughs> and I couldn't find it <sighs> but if I'd had this I would have been like oh yeah it's hanging from the chain around my neck and I would have instantly been able to to grab it but I got I got chastised by lift I got like five emails after the fact saying there was a problem with your ride. Your driver says you weren't wearing your mask when you first got in the car. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I apologized to him. I, you know, found the mask as quickly as I could. <laughs> and he didn't even say anything to me. I guess he just didn't want the confrontation. Not that there would have been one because, like I said, I was desperately looking for my mask. <laughs> but, you know, that, that is what it is. Like, Hopefully Lyft doesn't ban me from taking rides because I couldn't find my mask for a few minutes. <laughs> and I mean, I like wearing my mask. I just, I was just so flustered because I had to get home to get to work and I couldn't find him anywhere and I was walking all over the street and didn't know where he was. And when I finally found him, I was just so happy that I finally found him. And so he was probably mad at me for taking so long to find him. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. Next up bike shorts but they're spiderweb bike shorts you guys know how much i like to wear the bike shorts underneath my dresses and uh, or bloomers now this is in a extra large us size 12 which is my size and for reference i do measure 30 let me try that again <laughs> i do measure 
40, 33, 43, and I'm usually a US size 12 or an extra large UK size 16. So, and my top can usually get away with a large, but it's my bottoms are very, very solidly extra large. So these should fit me. They look like they will. They're very stretchy, look perfect. And then this, this is so cute. It's just a little bag, just a little crossbody bag for running around. And it was, if I remember correctly, they, they had a ton of prints, although a lot of them are selling out because they were all Halloween prints. But they're only like $5. And it's got a little back pocket here, which is cute. And then it has the main pocket. And there's a, even a little pocket inside. And it's just like a crinkly canvasy material with, of course, the cute little bat print on the front. And then it has the, the strap, which I'm hoping can be adjusted long enough for crossbody here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then it's just like a little crossbody bag. And I just thought that was so cute. And I just, you know, just for running around when I don't want my fancier purse. Here we have more charms. These are really cute. These are the little butterflies with the skulls on. You see that? It was just a package of, I think it's five charms. But yeah, those are really cute. I just, I love my jewelry making stuff. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> me buying lingerie I don't need. I was just fascinated by this bra thing. It's just so cool. I mean, it's sheer. And I'll try it on for you over this dress. But you can see it's just like this little haltery weird bra thingy there's no wire or anything so it's just like this basically just a sheer halter top but it's got all these bats on velvet flocked bats which i just thought was so cute of course it does come with a bottom which i will not be modeling for you <laughs> but we will figure out how to show you the top this adorable multicolored bat print headband with like the purples and pinks and teals which match my hair colors so I just thought that would be super cute and easy. You guys know how much I'm, I'm into my headbands now that my hair has gotten longer. Here we have yet another pair of just random fishnet tights. Again, I won't be trying those on for you right now, but at some point I'm sure you will see them. And here is our final item. Let's see what our final item is. <laughs> I placed so many orders, I've forgotten what is in what order. <laughs> And this is just a, I got this in the two extra large, US size 14. It's just a t-shirt and I like my t-shirts to be oversized. <laughs> and it says, I hate people. And then has this super cute demon cat. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> now it doesn't look super long, but it does look nice and roomy. So I, th I think I will enjoy that. And let's see if it says what it's made out of. It doesn't feel terrible. It's 100% cotton. So this is actually a 100% cotton t-shirt. I'm glad I got it oversized because I'm sure it'll shrink a little bit. So, all right, that, that's everything that I got. We're gonna go try some of these things on for you and I'll be right back. So I'm just starting with this super cute I Hate People t-shirt with the little demon cat on it. And like I said, this is 100% cotton, so it will shrink a little bit. So I'm glad I oversized on it because I actually got this in the two extra large instead of my normal extra large because I like my t-shirts to just be really baggy and comfy and I actually prefer when they're longer too but that's probably like just a large men's t-shirt is what I need uh, where this is supposed to be more of a fitted female t-shirt but it's still really cute and still something that I will run around in maybe throw on with a pair of jeans I do own one pair of jeans <laughs> all the clothes I have I have one pair of jeans or you know maybe just wear it with some sweatpants for lounging around the house so yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with just a plain little cotton t-shirt with an adorable demon kitty. And let's try something else. And next we do have the fun little bat halter top thingy. Like I said, it's not lined and it's sheer, so it's definitely, you know, it's technically lingerie. <laughs> but I would wear it you know, over something like this and I would actually wear it out over something like this because I just think it's super cute with the way the bats that come in like that. Um, maybe I would wear it with something strapless. Could probably wear it with like a strapless dress or uh, I don't know, maybe over a halter bra. Do something to make it wearable because I just think it's absolutely adorable. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of um, things I've showed you so far. <laughs> and let's, let's move on. 
So here is that little shrug. And actually, it's a bit big for me. I, I think I would need to tighten these elastic straps under the arms because you can see how much room I have on those straps. This is the smallest size they had, which is, I believe, just a regular extra large or one extra large. But it's still really cute, though. I mean, I think that looks really cute with the little tank dress like this. And even though that's loose, I could probably get away with wearing it because I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It seems to, you know, stay in place fine. And I'm also wearing the spider web shorts. These are actually a little bit big on me too, which uh, I, I did get them in the smallest available size. They were from the plus size section. So I believe these are, they're either gonna be a zero extra large or a one extra large depending. Um, but they, they're a bit loose, but they're still comfortable and they, they're not gonna fall down or anything. They're not that loose. <laughs> And I think they would still be great to wear under dresses because, you know, thick thighs. And I like to always wear something under my dresses to keep my, my legs from rubbing together. So there's those two things. And we have, I think, only one more item. So here is this sheer dress with these really cute sleeves. And uh, the sleeves are also slit as well as being oversized. And the dress goes down to... I can get back up far enough about my ankles. And of course I am wearing it over that tank dress right now, but uh, my, my intentions for this is to wear it over my swimsuits as a swimsuit cover up next year on my cruise. And I think this will be absolutely adorable as a swimsuit cover up. They actually had this in a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, I of course just went for the basic black, but they did have like purple and blue and I think green and just a bunch of different colors. And yeah, I think it's really cute and will be excellent for my swimsuit cover-up. And this one is in a one extra large, and that would have been the smallest size because I always get like either the smallest plus size they have or the largest not plus size that they have is usually my size. I'm right there on that cusp. Um, and it does feel like it maybe is just a little bit roomy on me. Uh, I had to actually tighten the straps all the way to get that to, to sit mostly right. So, but I still think it's gonna look really cute over my swimsuit. So I'm really excited about that. And that is everything, I, we've, we've gone through all of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of these purchases. And have, what have you been buying from Shein? Have you been buying from Shein? <laughs> and thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give it a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.